Um, I think not getting the first goal uh, is massive. Like teams come in, um, sat in, and made it difficult. And if they've got the first goal, they've got second to hang on to. And their game plan was obviously to get men behind the ball and make it difficult for us. And if you don't score first, that's always plays into their hands a little bit. They've got something to hang on to and can stay in their shape. Whereas if you get the first goal, um, they've got to come at you a little bit. So that was, that was crucial today. And um, yeah, soft bit of defending. Uh, the lads run from midfield. Uh, Alex has got maybe sucked in a little bit. Um, and then just that to shift his body and then struck it. And Clayton's got a hand on it. And that's, that's pivotal, that goal. Um, but I just felt first half we was a bit soft in, in the back line when we're going up for challenges. We must be the only team uh, in the league at the moment that's not dealing with you know that, that area of ball. Even when we've got time, we're letting it bounce and there's just no communication back there. Um, but it might be down to you know Alex Parsons being a winger playing on that right hand side. You know, he's asked him to do a job and he, he does it really, so you can't fault him too much. Jalen in the centre, Crane has played probably full back all his career and he's off to play left of a three. Um, so it's going to take some time to, to get that right. Um, it's not just going to happen overnight. Uh, I thought second half they competed a lot better when Ross drops in as well to make a back four. Uh, we can competed a lot better second half. Yes, yeah, so we've got a hand testament to. To, to the opposition and I think when we do get in there at times our decision making is quite poor and you know, ultimately we, we're lacking that killer instinct when we are in front of goal. Someone that can just swivel and put it in the back of the net and you know we can't be having to wait for the perfect opportunity just for just for a tap in and you know we're not getting too many of them and um, you know I think Oli has a good chance without sort of putting all the blame on him, far from it, but he has a good chance when it's one one or early on in the second half. I think there's a pretty much a whole goal to to aim at and puts it wide. So, you know, when he's on fire and he's confident and not thinking about it, he just tucks it away and then it probably get our bit of momentum um a bit earlier. We probably left it too late to get that bit of momentum to to go on to win the game. You've got to be got to be disappointed, don't you? I mean But at the same time let's not pay disrespect to the opposition because they've come with a game plan and getting the first goal helps them with that and made it really difficult and defended and won things and headed and um, cleared and, and, and stuff like that so you know, you're not going to be disrespectful to Potter's Bar and say that we should be expecting to beat teams like that you know you've got a this league Everybody beats everyone. If you're not at it, you get certain rubber the green. Maybe we got a bit fortunate to get get the equaliser. Um, you know, so uh, let's let's not be too disrespectful. Dis disrespectful to the opposition that we're playing in this league. Um, I don't think nothing's guaranteed. Um, Prove that this year. I think there's only been maybe one or two times that we've won by one more than one goal. Um, you know, so we're far from why we would assume that we're just going to beat teams that are down the bottom you know this is, it just doesn't happen you know we're not beating everyone two three nil and then playing potters bar you know it's the odd goal all the time so um yeah we're not going to be disrespectful to anyone in this league because you know harlow's going to be a tough game next week i'm not just going to assume that they are where they are in the league so we should win um we're by no means at that that stage um as a club yet that we're expecting to to win every game at this level but you know we do we will be disappointed we, we do with the talent we've got expect to win games of football you signed Kwame he looked brilliant out there today really good signing how did that come about um yeah we just watched him play um in a youth team game here and really liked you know the way he played and you know he's nice and comfortable on the ball um likes to dribble and it's an exciting player to watch and um, yeah he went on a few trials but we sort of tracked him you know sort of um, he's in with the Valenti guys um, on a day to day basis and we've obviously got good links with them um, so yeah just spoke to him and see what the availability was and yeah put, put the approach into Cray and um, yeah fortunate to get, to get him in but um, I think with him Ricky, Josh you know there were three of them are 17 years old, um, you know, so 
it's really are you're building something here for the future and um if we can keep hold of these kind of talented boys and you know see them get fifty games under their belt at this this kind of level within the next couple of years, um you know, we could hopefully see them in their prime in a couple of years' time and that'd be nice to see because they're learning the game um, at the moment um, at a good level, um, at a big club. Um, but you know, they have shown signs that they are ready to do that. Finally, uh, it'll, it's a Tuesday-Thursday session this week, I guess, uh, yep. before Harlow. What, what can the players expect to be doing in training this week? Is there anything Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that, to be fair. Um, we can really sort of now get, get to work. It's, there's so many Tuesday games, I can't remember the last time we had Tuesday, Thursday to work on stuff. So you're basically analysing the Saturday and Tuesday on a Thursday and then trying to work as a team. So we'll be able to focus a bit more on the, the units of the, t of the team on maybe the Tuesday, analyse it, try and put it right and then focus a bit more on our defensive shape, um, how we can create more goal scoring opportunities and yeah, then come together as a team on a Thursday. So. We're looking forward to that to be honest, to get two good sessions into us, um, you know, because it's, it's been tough um, Saturday, Tuesday and, you know, with the injuries that we've had as well, you know, not barking on about it, but the injuries that we've had, it's hard um, to put any sort of work into the players because uh, you don't want any sort of injuries, you're just sort of ticking them over on a Thursday, so good to get some a proper session in this week.